Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and animating by time and trigonometry. So in my visual shader, I have a basic UV offset network set up and we'll get to that in one second. To get things started, we wanna right click and we want an input node. And in the input, you can search for time. Now the time input, as long as it's plugged in, is gonna be running constantly, all the time. And what this does is, as soon as you start playing, it's gonna go from zero and keep on going. One, two, three. So if you just plug this into albedo, all you see is white because anything past the value of one is white. But if we take this and we treat it like data, we can plug this into many things. And as an example, I'm gonna plug this into my Y offset. And what you'll see is right away, this starts to animate. If you wanted to invert this time, you could use a one minus and we'll plug this in and we'll plug this into the offset and it'll go in the opposite direction. Now, another thing we can do is we can multiply the time. So we can control the rate. So if we set it to one, that's gonna be the default. And then we can lower it to make it go slower. And then from here, we can also invert it. Now there's a few other functions that we can use in parallel to time. And these are trigonomic functions. So with time plugged into each one of these, cosine is gonna start at a value of one and then go down to negative one and come back up to one and repeat. Sine is gonna start at zero, go up to one, and then go down to negative one, back to one and repeat. Our tangent, which is our sine divided by our cosine, this is basically gonna go from zero to one, and then it's gonna shoot back to zero really fast, and then it's gonna repeat. And then these last two that we have, fraction, this is gonna go from zero to 0 0.9999999. It never actually gets to one it's always gonna be a fraction of the number that's coming in. So if this is 1.25, it's gonna be 0.25. And if this is 2.75, this is gonna be 0.75 coming out of it. And then this last one, this one will be fun. HSV to RGB is gonna take a value in, and it's gonna flash between red, green, and blue. This last one is just for fun. So let's go through these one more time. And I have each one of these opened up so we can preview them. So I'm gonna plug this into cosine and into sine. And what you'll see is that these are always offset. They're always different. And the tangent, you'll see it goes to the white and it flashes really fast back down to black. Fraction, this is the one that's gonna blip. It's gonna be like a pulse. And then the one for fun, it's gonna flash through all the colors. All right, guys, this should cover animating by time and trigonometry. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.